How did mongooses become immune to snake venom? When it comes to evolutionary defense mechanisms in animals, you really can't beat immunity to venom. Only a handful of creatures are blessed with this ability, and one of those animals is the mongoose. But how did a mammal such as the mongoose become immune to snake venom? Well, in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to find out. So, without further ado, let's begin. What is a mongoose? If you haven't heard of the mongoose or its immunity to poison, don't worry, we've got you covered. The mongoose is a small to medium-sized carnivorous mammal that belongs to the family Herpestidae. With approximately 29 different species, mongooses primarily find their natural habitat in Africa though some have been introduced to other regions like Asia, the Caribbean, and the Hawaiian Islands. In terms of habitat preferences, mongooses display some incredible flexibility. They can thrive in an extensive range of environments, including grasslands, savannas, forests, and scrublands. Interestingly, some species have also made a home in urban areas, where they can be found around farms, villages, and even in the heart of cities. Culturally, mongooses hold significant meaning in various parts of the world. In Hindu mythology, particularly in India and Southeast Asia, the mongoose is closely associated with Kubera, the god of wealth. According to myth, the mongoose possesses the extraordinary ability to spit out jewels, and it is often depicted in Kubera's company. Moreover, in certain Southeast Asian cultures, mongoose hair, or specific body parts, are believed to possess protective or talismanic properties. So, now that we've familiarized ourselves with the mongoose, let's finally discuss how the mongoose became immune to venom. Number 1. Enzyme Efficiency Firstly, mongooses possess a pretty interesting neurological defense mechanism attached to the efficiency of their acetylcholinesterase enzyme. Acetylcholinesterase is a vital enzyme responsible for the rapid breakdown of acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter essential for transmitting nerve signals within the body. This process ensures that nerve impulses are precisely regulated, allowing for coordinated muscle movement, cognitive functions, and other critical physiological responses. What's interesting about the mongoose is that it possesses an exceptional variant of this enzyme characterized by its heightened efficiency. This heightened efficiency is extremely significant in the context of mongoose encounters with venomous snakes. Snake venom is basically a cocktail of proteins and enzymes meticulously designed to disrupt various physiological processes in their prey. One of its primary targets is the acetylcholine signaling pathway. By interfering with the transmission of nerve signals, Venom induces paralysis and eventually incapacitates the prey, facilitating the snake's predatory success. This is where the mongoose's extraordinary adaptation comes into play. The more efficient acetylcholinesterase present in mongooses acts as a powerful countermeasure against snake venom. When faced with an envenomed bite, the mongoose's acetylcholinesterase rapidly breaks down acetylcholine mitigating the venom's impact on nerve signal transmission. This crucial defense mechanism affords the mongoose time to mount a strategic response or potentially launch a counterattack. The metabolism of a mongoose helps it in the event of a snake bite. It enables them to efficiently process and eliminate venom from their bodies, mitigating its potentially lethal effects. A fast metabolism means that the mongoose's body processes substances at an accelerated rate. When confronted with snake venom, this trait proves invaluable. As soon as venom enters a mongoose's system, its body springs into action. Biochemical pathways work in overdrive to break down and neutralize the venom's toxic components. This rapid detoxification process minimizes the venom's residence time within the mongoose's body, reducing its ability to inflict severe damage. Furthermore, the efficiency of the mongoose's metabolism ensures that any residual effects of the venom are swiftly eliminated. 
This means that even if a snake manages to deliver a bite, the mongoose is better equipped to recover quickly and continue its fight for survival. Number 2. Thick Fur The dense coat of fur covering a mongoose also serves as a multi-layered defense system. Each individual hair follicle is fortified with a specialized structure that provides an added barrier against the penetration of snake fangs. The fur's outer layer is composed of stiff guard hairs, which are coarser and more rigid. These hairs form a protective shield, making it difficult for a snake's fangs to puncture through to the mongoose's skin. Beneath this outer layer lies a softer, insulating layer of fur. This dense undercoat acts as a shock absorber, dispersing the force of a snake's strike and reducing the likelihood of a deep bite. Furthermore, the fur's composition may also play a role in mitigating the effects of snake venom. Some studies suggest that certain types of hair, particularly those with dense and tightly packed structures, can act as a partial barrier against the diffusion of venom into the bloodstream. The pattern of their fur disrupts their outline, making it harder for predators, especially those with keen eyesight, to spot them. Snakes primarily rely on visual cues to locate prey, and their ability to spot movement is finely tuned. By blending into the environment, mongooses reduce their chances of being detected. This gives them a crucial edge when it comes to avoiding potential encounters with venomous snakes. Moreover, Camouflage isn't just a passive defense mechanism for mongooses. They are known for their stealthy movements and strategic positioning. They utilize natural cover, such as tall grasses or rocks, to further enhance their concealment. This enables them to approach prey, navigate their territory, and evade potential threats with remarkable precision. Number 3. Behavioral Adaptations Mongooses actually possess a collection of highly developed predatory behaviors that come to the forefront when faced with a venomous snake. When confronted by a snake, a mongoose's instincts kick in with extraordinary precision. Their first line of defense lies in evasive maneuvers that showcase their agility and lightning-fast reflexes. With lightning-quick movements, they dodge the snake's lunges, often narrowly escaping the striking fangs. This swift evasiveness is evidence of the mongoose's acute spatial awareness and its ability to assess the snake's movements in real time. In instances where evasion proves insufficient, mongooses display their formidable offensive capabilities. Armed with sharp teeth and claws, they target the snake's head. The head houses the venom glands, making it the most critical area to immobilize. With precision, the mongoose aims to disable the snake before it has a chance to deliver a venomous bite. This tactical approach isn't purely a matter of brute force, but rather a calculated strategy. These behaviors are also passed down through social learning within mongoose communities. Young mongooses observe and learn from their experienced counterparts, refining their techniques over time. This cultural transmission of knowledge amplifies the efficiency and effectiveness of their defensive strategies. Number 4. Selective Feeding Another adaptation that has contributed to the mongoose's resistance to snake venom is its highly selective feeding behavior. Mongooses possess the ability to distinguish between venomous and non-venomous snakes, a skill honed through generations of natural selection. This keen judgment isn't only a matter of visual identification, but also a nuanced understanding of subtle cues in their environment. They may rely on visual, olfactory, and behavioral indicators to assess the potential threat posed by a snake. When a mongoose encounters a snake, it assesses various factors such as the snake's body shape, coloration, and movement patterns. It may also rely on scent cues to determine the snake's identity. Through this complex assessment process, the mongoose can make an informed decision about whether the encountered snake poses a venomous threat. Once a mongoose has assessed a snake as non-venomous or low risk, it may actively target it as prey. By selectively feeding on non-venomous species, mongooses can sustain themselves without exposing themselves to the risks associated with venomous snakes. 
Some mongoose species are primarily nocturnal, meaning they are most active during the night. This behavior provides them with an advantage in hunting and foraging in low-light conditions, where many of their prey items, such as insects, are also active. Conversely, other mongoose species are predominantly diurnal, meaning they are active during the day. This behavior allows them to take advantage of the increased visibility and access to daylight, which aids in their search for food. Diurnal mongooses are well adapted to spotting prey items like insects, small mammals, and birds, utilizing their acute vision to spot movement and locate potential meals. This diverse range of activity patterns within the mongoose family showcases their ability to exploit different niches within their respective ecosystems, reflecting their remarkable adaptability and ecological versatility. Examples from History Before the video ends, let's take a look at some examples of mongooses from history who successfully fended off venomous snakes. Nathaniel Bagshaw Ward, an English doctor and amateur naturalist, documented an encounter between a mongoose and a cobra in the early 19th century. In his book, A Visit to Ceylon, published in 1843, he described witnessing a mongoose fearlessly confront and eventually kill a cobra. This is amazing because the venom of a cobra is said to be enough to kill 20 men, or even one adult elephant. Also, Colonel George Lacey, an officer in the British Army, spent considerable time in India and Africa, and authored several books on wildlife. In his book, The Annals of Mysore, published in 1940, he described numerous encounters between mongooses and cobras. He highlighted the mongooses' agility, speed, and cunning in neutralizing cobra threats, often to the amazement of onlookers. And that was our video. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date on videos like this. See you next time!